everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I've still got a really really poorly throat that might make it hard for you to understand me but um, I'm going to shoot through with this one and um, I know this can seem a little bit early but everyone seems to be putting in out their Christmas YouTube videos and this one is a really really exciting one for me because it's our fortune cookie um, unboxing uh, Unboxing for winter. So, there's winter annual. <laughs> can't speak. <laughs> no, they're not monthly. What are you? You're. I, I've forgotten. <laughs> you are. I forgot. Anyways. <laughs> um. This is their winter themed box. I was so excited when I got this. I was so surprised, but I thought this fits the theme so well. So, when I opened the box, it said, through the wardrobe. As you may know, this is a Narnia themed box. Like, everything in this is so amazing and unique because there isn't many Narnia things out there and I love the books, I love the movies and this is something really unique that um, Fletcher Cookie Soapbox have done and I'm going to show you what I got within my box this time. So first off we'll start off with the hand sanitizer that you get in every single box. This one is called Always Winter and it actually has little gold specks in. I'm not sure if you'll be able to it's absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love the stickers that they've got this year. It's even got um, a little light post in for when they first went through the wardrobe and that's what they see first. This scent is evergreen fir needles, warm cinnamon, crisp cranberries, apple curls and cedar wood. So, as you may tell, it is very, very fresh. Oh, very very fresh, very very in the spirit of Christmas time really because with that having that evergreen needles in makes it so fresh and oh it is amazing amazing oh it just smells like Christmas trees that's what I would describe this as Christmas trees and then we have our Father Christmas whipped cream so you get this in every single one of your boxes too a little sample size I've still got my one from my own awesome box, still very well lasting. These are very, very rich, very, very hydrated, and I absolutely adore these. The scent within this one is Blue Jupiter Brush, Bush, <laughs> dusted with frosty snow and hints of ice vanilla cupcakes. So, I don't know if Jupiter Brush is like a flower <laughs> not really good when it comes to gardening things but it actually smells like oh, do you know yankee candle candles you can get do you know you can get one that's called vanilla cupcakes this is exactly what this smells like it's absolutely amazing oh and vanilla is my favorite scent so this is a win-win for me um i think i should leave that one until last because it's best bit so I'm gonna leave that and then we have something really, really unique that I've never got in one of my fortune cookie boxes and this is a dusting powder called dreaming a dream and it actually has a little bit at the top that's like talc how cute is this so it is a bit like a baby powder I would say it says it has a comforting blend of lavender vanilla soft musk patchouli and you brush it onto your skin after you've been in the shower or bath um, and it absor absorbs into your skin and it has essential oils in to keep you feeling fresh all day so it's mostly a bit like a it looks like I'm putting salt on my hands <laughs> like in a shot <laughs> some tequila um, but um, it comes out as a white powder too and when you rub it in oh it smells amazing it's something that will help you drift off to sleep because the patchouli is so relaxing 
Oh, it's so nice. I would say this would be amazing to pop on your chest to help open up your chest. When you've got a cold like me, that would be absolutely amazing. Like, I, I've got a cold, but I can smell every single one of these products. So that shows you how strong these are as well. We then have... See, I love the concept of this. This one is called Lion's Breath, and it is a perf perfume oil. Um, it is in reference to the king Aslan himself. Um, it is, says the scent is winter frost, fir needles, sweet nectar, ripened pomegranates to make your senses feel alive again as every last drop of this perfume oil graces your skin. See, it sounds like it would be an amazing perfume. Sadly, I wasn't that keen on the smell once I popped it on. Um, I love how it's got little cranberries inside. I find that so, so cute. However, it's like, I would say it's very, very warm and overpowering, I would say. It's a very good one for a nighttime perfume. However, I don't know. Once you put it on the skin, you smell the evergreen needles first. Then you get this overwhelming hint of something. And with it called Lion's Breath, it's like... <laughs> it does smell like somebody's breath after a while. I'm not joking with that. I'm not sure why. I normally... I thought I would love this, but I might give this to someone for Christmas. Just because I don't think personally I would like it myself. Um, but everyone's tastes are different. Just to me, I wasn't that keen on this one. But it still is an amazing, amazing profit. And I love that it's called Lion's Breath. I think that's amazing. We then have Hide and Seek Whipped Soap. So it's a, like a marshmallowy texture. It's very whipped cream-like. And... It has um, the scent of dark espresso beans and coconut. Maybe that's why I was a bit apprehensive about this because I'm not a huge fan of coconut scents. They tend to give me a, a, like a headache. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of overpalming. It's a mystery to me. I don't even like the taste of coconut. And it says, whip to fluffy perfection, use our whip soap as a shaving cream or an all over body wash. So that's good, so it's a two in one. So this would be perfect to take with you on holiday if you're going anywhere this Christmas. And yes, you can smell the coconut straight away. I think that's overpowering everything else for me. And it does have a very deep must to it, so it must be the espresso. So it's, I really haven't tried this one yet but I'm definitely going to give it a guess especially if it's shaving cream because I think it will be really an interesting concept to go for we then have oh I've kept this downstairs but basically it was a little right a little square and it's a deep magic shampoo shampoo bar and so basically all you do is wet it um under your shower when you're washing your hair and rub the actual bar into your scalp. I was so excited when I smelled that. That was the most favourite thing in this box too far. It smells um, like mint and you know those kind of things that for your hair that is very minty. It tingles and it's so good for cleaning like you can feel like the tingles really working into the scalp and helping to rejuvenate your hair follicles. <laughs> And it's really, really nice. It also has fresh garden herbs in. And it is so, so nice. I think if I was to get any of this full size, this is what I'd go for. Never try the shampoo bar before either, but it works just the same. And it even says, even the witch's magic can't keep those dead ends dead for good. <laughs> I find that so cute. We then have our small favours, Petty Balm. So, it's says it doesn't take a lot to unwind and relax only warm honey with a hint of professor tobacco pack professor's tobacco bite brightened by spice citrus slices this petty balm will have you thankful for small favors so it's a bit of a mystery this one i don't know if it is just a bath bomb because that's what it kind of looks like or but when it's throwing me off with it saying petty balm like is it for your feet i'm not 100 percent sure on this I'm going to have to look this one up, but it smells very, oh, it's even got little lumps inside, so I don't know if it's for exfoliating, 
I am absolutely is a bit unfil unfil uh, unfamiliar to me. If you do know what it is, let me know below. And last but certainly not least, this was also one of my favourites in this box. And it is a um, little actual soap that you do get in every single one of their boxes. And this one is called Sweeties. And it is actually like the Turkish Delight Edmund cut from the Queen. I find this so, so satisfying. I don't know why, but I thought this was so adorable. Like, for people that love Narnia, this is like, so cute. Like, and for smell. Oh my goodness. Can I just describe this as yummy goodness? Oh, it smells... Uh, like I would say if I it smells it better it, it describes it better than what I can say really um scented with t traditional rose water and toasted pistachios amaretto and warm buttery cookies it will leave you asking the witch for more just remember a little goes a long way with this soap so it's absolutely amazing I absolutely adore this I think I don't even want to use this I want to keep it forever so I don't know when I'm going to use this but um, it's one of my all time favourites that I've ever gotten in any of these boxes. So that is what I got within my um, Winter 2016 soap box. I really hope you enjoyed watching it uh, and enjoying it with me. Um, if you have any questions about the subscription or about any of these products, feel free to leave it below. And if you know what a Medibomb is, please leave that below too because I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video and feel free to subscribe if you really really enjoyed this one.